how to adjust a hot tub pressure switch when you have a flow issue. Now there's three types of pressure switches that I use anyway. We do have a video on this pressure switch. Now I'm going to show in the next video, I'm going to show this one here, how to adjust it. You just use a slotted screwdriver there. And on this style here, you just use a Phillips screwdriver. And in this style here, you can see there's a pin. Once the pressure hits, there's a pin that pushes up inside here. So a lot of times when these fail, you can kind of look in there and see if the pin's even up. Now this one's screwed up a little bit high. Somebody's, like this thing moves. It's a little tight, this one. So you can go all the way up. So you never put it like that because there's no gap. So the pin, basically, it could overheat your tub. So that's why I don't really use this one too many times. But it's, this one's supposed to be down further. There should be a gap in between that pin you see. There should be a gap there. But on this next video, we're gonna, I'm going to go over this one here, which is my second best pressure switch that I use. I use this one here on packs that um, there's not enough room. And it's very hard to take take it off. So the small ones are good for everything. I just I use these every tub I put in. Now you can check the pressure switch on this particular one. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. See if FLO will come off. Yeah, heard that click, so I'm going to turn it back, you should hear it click again. Yeah, it's here. So I'm going to turn it again, counterclockwise, and it should click right there, click right there. So the heat turned on, so it should be off. So this is just a temporary thing, right? So. You turn it till that relay clicks back on, and then you're gonna have to, eventually, you're gonna have to replace this pressure switch. And I'll link down below this pressure switch down below. Now, if this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to us, and we'll see you on the next one.